guys, it's Christina. So today I want to do my 2011 hits and favorites and I'll be going over like all the beauty products that I absolutely love that I started using in 2011 and still am using it or that I kept using throughout the years. So if you watch my monthly favorites, you know, it's the products that I love the most that, you know, not only did I use for that month that I kept using throughout the whole entire year that are just excellent and they worked for me and I want to share with you guys, maybe help you out if you're looking for like a great product in that category. So first I'm going to start with eye makeup and I'm going to show you the two favorite quads that I absolutely love. These are both drugstores, so they're not that expensive. You know, I don't purchase that many high-end products because I feel like you can find a really good alternative for much cheaper. So this is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips, and this can be about $10 or $13 at the drugstore. They have them in a couple of different colors. This one is called Sunset Strip, and they're all bronzy sort of colors, so you can use this as a bronzer or as an eyeshadow. And I actually incorporated it today into my smoky eye. I used some golden colors with the black, so it's not like overly black and brown on my eyes, you know. And I like that a lot, so you can just bring this one little quad and actually have a couple of tutorials using this. And use this as like a very summery sort of like eyeshadow because it has like five different shades. You can use the golden as a highlight or, you know, I use it as a highlight on my cheeks and like down my nose. Or you can use it for your eyeshadow highlight and then use like the brown to smoke your eye out. So it's not like overly dark but it's very nice to do like a sort of neutral eye for the daytime. And then to do like a dark eye, I love this Maybelline quad and this is the... Stylish Smoke series and this one is Natural Smokes and I know the packaging has changed and it looks a bit different now but all four colors are still the same and my two favorite ones out of here as you can see the ones that I use the most is this brown right here it has some shimmer in it and then this matte dark color that is not like black so it's not going to be like too much on your eye. And then it has a nice highlight and a little gray color right there. I think it's a very nice quad because you can just bring this one thing with you if you're like vacationing or going to work. And then afterwards you have to like change your makeup up and you don't want to bring a lot of different eyeshadows. And it's very, very, so I think it's very convenient. And this is only like $6 at the drugstore. So aside from the eyeshadows, as far as like mascaras go, I always stick with L'Oreal. I don't know why. I just always love this brand. I tried a lot of other brands that are from the drugstore like, um... Maybelline and CoverGirl and then I tried a lot of high-end ones like from Sephora and Lancome and stuff like that and not that they're like bad or anything but I just found that L'Oreal works very very well you can find a lot of different mascaras from them like this one is called the telescopic one it's a lengthening one and then this is the telescopic carbon black they're both lengthening because the ones have like the very tiny sort of uh, plastic bristles on them that will separate your lashes and coat them all the way to the end and then I also use the voluminous mascara um, and this is more for like volume obviously so it's got like a sort of thicker brush and it will comb your lashes but I like to layer them so first I use like a lengthening one and then I use one of these to make them thicker so I really love L'Oreal a lot and I actually have their linear intense um, liquid liner as well and this is my favorite liner from the drugstore it's got like a very long tip and it's really thin and precise I don't know you can just use this and make a line that's thick or thin, whatever you want. I think it's very, very nice. Like, you know, it's got a good color payoff. It does not flake off. I've tried some liners from the drugstore that flaked off. Like, they would dry up and they would just start flaking off. Like, your eye just coming off. This is really scary to me. This doesn't do that. And these all range in um, price, but these are not, like, over $10 or anything like that. So, I think that's very good, especially the mascaras last you, like, you know, two or three months or something like that. Um, depending on how much you use it, but you're supposed to, like, throw them out after, I leave, like, the maximum is, like, three months, I think. So, I think that's very good for a price. I don't think it's necessary to get, like, a high-end mascara and spend the money unless your eyelash is like extremely short or stubborn or something like that. Then as far as other liners go, for a pencil liner, I really like Jordana and this is very comparable to L'Oreal. Like I said, L'Oreal is my favorite for the eyes. And L'Oreal has a pencil eyeliner that looks just like this. It's a black packaging with a golden cap. Like if from far away I showed it to you, you would not know the difference between them. They would look exactly alike. But that one is about $7, I believe, or 7 or 8 or something like that. And this is only $2 and it's from Jordana. It's a brand that I pick up at Walgreens and I use the black one for my um, lower lash line to smoke it out like if I want to do that look and then I also have the brown one but I use this for my eyebrows I don't use it like exactly 
like this on my eyebrows because it's a bit thick but I use like a little tiny brush and I just take some color off and then fill in my eyebrows and I think it works very well. It stays on and I like the fact that they're retractable so you don't have to sharpen them. I'm really kind of lazy with that and I just don't have the patience to sharpen it all the time. Like I want my pencil to be ready when I'm going to use it. And it's exactly the same as the L'Oreal one. They're retractable as well and I think for the price it's really great because it's only like $2 and like I said I picked these up at Walgreens. Um, I will list all the products I'm talking about in the info bar below so if you want to check out the names and like search for them or something like that. That you can and then as far as the gel liner goes I use the Maybelline eye studio gel liner and it's a very good one this I've had for so long because I don't wear it every single day and if you didn't know gel liners stay on your waterline for forever so you can use it to line your top lash line or you can use it like on the bottom or you can use it on a waterline and that's what I love it for because the pencil rubs off from your waterline after like a few hours you have to reapply it but this one you don't like it will stay all day long so I love that because I don't want to like have to worry about my makeup you know how I look like and stuff like that I want to be able to put it on and for it to just stay and not have to worry about it and it comes with a little brush like this and I'm actually wearing it today so I have it on my waterline and I have it on the top as well and it's a bit more pricey than a pencil liner this is about ten dollars I believe but you know it lasts you a while even if you do use it every day it will last you like months like this I've had for over a year and it hasn't I haven't even hit the bottom yet I don't use it every day like I said but still it's very very good for the price so before I get into skin makeup I want to go over my skin products that I absolutely love I'm not going to show you my entire skincare routine or anything like that but I have three favorite products that I will show you as far as skincare goes and this one is the Alba deep sea facial mask I got it from Ulta it was maybe like eight dollars it's not very expensive but I love it I use it maybe like once a week to sort of like rejuvenate my skin I feel like it cleanses it I mean that's what it's supposed to do it says it gently draws out impurities and I feel like it just sort of like rejuvenates my skin whenever I use it if my skin has had a rough week or whatever I try to use it on a regular basis anyway like every week at least but you know it's just sort of like if your skin is stressed out you use a lot of makeup it like cleanses it and everything like that it's white inside and it has a very nice smell so it doesn't smell weird even though it says like deep sea mask don't think anything like weird like smells like seaweed or anything like that it doesn't smell like that at all it's very nice I like it a lot and then my favorite scrub for my skin is actually this one from Lush it's called the dark angels cleanser but I think it's too rough for my skin to use it as a cleanser every single day it's very abrasive and I think it's very good as a scrub and I use it maybe once a week sometimes twice a week depending on like if I have dry rough patches because you don't want to put your makeup on like if you have dry flaky skin and then it will just look really bad like your makeup will make it your makeup will make the dry pieces of your skin stick out even more and it's just not attractive and don't be scared when I show you this but it's just um sort of scary looking like this and when I show it to my friends they're sort of like uh I'm not putting that on my face but it's really really good you don't need a lot of it um the reason it looks like this is because it has charcoal and like um mud and stuff like that and it's very natural like lush everything they use all the ingredients is are very natural so I don't feel bad putting this on my skin but the reason it looks like that is because it has charcoal in it and I like the smell of it as well it's very like lemony and herbally I think and you don't need a lot of this because I've had this for a while and you only need like a little pinch and you rub it all over your skin and I actually have a review on this and another Lush product and if you want to hear me talk about it in detail I don't want to take up the time in this video because I'm sure it's going to be like super long already since I have all these products so I will just link that in the info right below and and I have this product and another Lush product in that video that I review. And my third skin product is actually this one from Clinique. This is the Pore Refining Resolutions. It used to be the Pore Minimizer um, because it like fills in your pores. You put it on before you put on your makeup and it's very like soft. It feels almost kind of like silicone based or something. It makes your makeup go on very smoothly because it smooths out any like imperfections in your skin. It fills in your pores, all like everything like that. But what I like it for most is because it keeps my skin from getting oily throughout the day. So it like fills in your pores and I guess maybe that's why it does that. But my skin does not produce oil and get oily throughout the day after I put on my makeup. Even if I use a liquid foundation, it still keeps my face matte. So I like that a lot. And this was about $20. I got it from Sephora. But you can pick it up at like a clinic counter or something. Then as far as skin makeup goes, my favorite liquid foundation is the... 
Revlon Photo Ready. And Revlon is like the best skin makeup you can buy at a drugstore if without going to like Sephora or like a very expensive counter. Revlon is like the king of foundation for a drugstore. And this was about $12 or $13. You can get these at Ulta, any drugstore, anything like that. And this is a new package. As you can see, um, I'm almost out of my old one. I'm about to start using this one. And the color that I always get is 005 Natural Beige, but they have a range. And I like this foundation because it does not make my skin overly oily. Any other liquid foundation I've used before has made my skin like oily throughout the day, and I don't like that feeling. And it would just feel so heavy on my skin. This does not feel heavy. But it still gives good coverage for the sort of medium to lightweight foundation that I feel like it is. It's not like too light because I can definitely feel it on my skin. It's not like... I've used Berry Minerals before and it definitely feels like more than that because that's just sort of like a powdery consistency that I feel on my skin. So I do feel something on it but, it did, but it's not heavy compared to the other ones that I've tried. And it gives good coverage for its consistency. And I actually have a review video on this so if you want to hear more about that I will link that in the info bar below like I'm linking everything else. And my favorite powder that I like to set that with is actually this Maybelline Fit. I've used a lot of different powders. I like L'Oreal a lot but since they came out with the Fit collection for Maybelline, I've been using this and that's been for like almost a year I believe. And I use it with this e.l.f. brush. This is the Studio brush and this is only like $3. It's just called powder brush but it's super soft for the price that it is I feel like. And it does not shed almost at all. Like sometimes after I wash it it would but... I feel for $3, I've had this for like a long time now, like almost a year, and it's just fine. And that's what I used to set my foundation with, and the color that I get is 325, but they have a lot of different shades, and I just feel like it's very lightweight, and it gives you like a nice matte sort of coverage without, you know, flicking off. Like if you have really perfect skin, you could just use this by itself, but I like to put it over liquid foundation to set it. And then underneath, if you lift that, it has a mirror and a little puff as well. So I think it's like a nice little compact to take with you. If you just want to touch up your makeup, you can like use the mirror or whatever. And then as far as concealers go, this year I went through quite a few of them. And I was like included them in my favorites. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best concealer this month. I love it. Like this one is awesome. And then I would have another one. I'm like, oh my gosh, this one is even more awesome. And then I found this one and I stuck with it so far. And I had this in my favorites in the summer, I believe like July or something. And I've used it since then. So for like half a year, I've used this without switching from to anything else. And this is the Sonia Kasha Concealer. This is a new one that I just got because I'm almost out of my old one. It was only $10 at Target. And I like it because it's a palette. So it does not only have one color. It has three shades. And then a little setting powder. And I talk about this in detail as well. So I will link that video in an info bar as well and my favorites that I included in it but basically it has a light color that I would use like under my eyes and then it has a darker concealer that I would use like all over my face and then it has a green color that I would use to um cancel out any redness on my face and then it has like a little setting powder and I actually use the setting powder not only underneath my eyes but over my eyeshadow primer as well because the powder will absorb any oils that I will eventually have on my eyelids so so just to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing. And then as far as contouring goes, I like these two matte bronzers a lot. This one from Wet n Wild, um, they're both pretty inexpensive. I got them for about 2 or $3, so it's very, you know, affordable. This one is pretty popular here on YouTube. It's the NYC Sunny Bronzer. And the reason for that is because it's matte, but it's very inexpensive. It's like 2 or $3 compared to like high-end matte bronzers that are like 20 or $30. But then I found this Wet n Wild one as well, and it's matte too. But the difference between them is that this one is more fine milled, so it's very, like, sort of fine powder, and it's a lot, and it's very easy to pick up a lot of it. So you have to have, like, a light hand for that. And the brush that I use with it is this contour brush from e.l.f. You have to have, like, an angled brush for contouring. So what I do is I use this one now to contour, like, my cheekbones. So I would just go like that and form, like, the E Three, like you know that sort of routine or whatever you probably heard about it before but I use this for my face because it's very fine so I just pick up some of it and use it like that and then if I want to contour any other areas of my face like down my nose or anything like that I would use a smaller brush with this bronzer because it doesn't pick up as much with this product but because this one is not as fine milled so it's not gonna pick up a lot of the product and be so so dark because whenever I use this one, and I try to like contour my nose, it will just make this really dark line down my nose. And it's just, then I have to rub it out and all that. So I would use this for like smaller areas. 
but they're both pretty good so if I just had one I would not struggle you know what I mean like I don't need like two of them in my makeup bag or anything but they're both really good this video is getting kind of long so as far as lip color um my favorite lipstick as you already know is Maybelline Pink Please this has been discontinued so I had to buy a few of them online and it's a very pretty soft pink color that I think suits a lot of different skin tones that's why I like it because it suits me perfectly I love this color and I love this packaging this was only five or six dollars and it was so popular with people like especially here on YouTube so I really have no idea why Maybelline discontinued it, but, you know, oh well. I hope they bring it back, though. And then, as far as lip glosses, my favorite ones are the Victoria's Secret ones and the NYX lip glosses. These are just some of the ones that I have from Victoria's Secret, and I like them a lot because they have very pretty shades, and they all smell wonderful. So, I really like them a lot, and they look really, really good on your lips. They're, like, so juicy and sparkly and shiny. And then the reason I like the NYX ones is because, well, one, they're less expensive. They're like 2 or $3 versus like $7. But the reason I like these is because they're not sticky. Like the Victoria's Secret ones, they're so shiny and sparkly and nice, but they're so sticky. Like your hair will just get stuck to them. They're just like that thick consistency. These aren't as sticky, so they don't stay on your lips as long, but they're very smooth. They're not sticky at all, so that's the reason I like them. So if I want to go out and just put some lip gloss on to like have that little shine, but not have to worry about it being sticky, I would use this lip glosses if I'm just being like comfortable. But if I have to like just look good for something, you know, and like have that juicy sort of like pretty lip, I will use the Victoria's Secret ones, but they're not that comfortable to wear. And I just discovered these this year the NYX ones and I've kept using them so far and they have a lot of different shades and these are just the regular like little lip glosses but they have other like ones that are in different packaging so I'm not sure about those I have never used them these are the only ones that I have so you just have to like go out and try the other ones I'm not sure how they feel on your lips but I love these then for hair care, I actually have two different lines, and I will show you them in a second. But the only two products that I have that are not from those lines are these ones, and this is the Chesame 24-Hour Body Root Boosting Spray. I like this spray a lot. I use this on my roots um, before I blow dry my hair. So what I do is I would spritz this on my roots. I didn't do it today. That's why it looks kind of flat. But when, but usually I just spritz it on my roots, and then I blow dry my hair, and I flip it upside down so that it blow dries like. Up, if that makes any sense so my hair will like have more volume in it and some people have asked me before here on YouTube like in certain videos I would just place my hair like you know like this and they would be like oh my gosh you have volume like how do you do it and it might have been just of the way that I like would place my hair like that or something but a lot of it has to do with this spray and I like it a lot for that reason it's not like totally like make your hair like so voluminous and you know it's not like that but it will just give you that extra little oomph and then this is the Ion Finishing Spritz. I got this, um, oh, and this one is from the drugstore. It's maybe like a few dollars. And then this one I got just from Sally's Beauty Supply. And this was like a few dollars as well, like maybe five dollars or something. Oh, $5.99. So it's not expensive, but this is my substitute for hairspray. I do have some Victoria's Secret hairsprays over there. They smell wonderful, but they leave my hair crunchy. So I would have to wash it the next day because if I brush it out, it will just have that like sort of dry feeling on it like on my ends and I don't like that very much but this finishing spritz works as a hairspray like it will make my hair stay especially if I'm curling it but then you know if I brush it out it won't have that crunchy feeling afterwards so I can go the second day without having to wash my hair you know because it won't be as crunchy or anything like that it won't like feel as anything is in your hair at all so that's why I like this a lot and then as far as like shampoo conditioner and all that if you've seen my videos recently like the past couple months you know I got the keratin Brazilian um treatment on my hair so that's something that requires like extra care so that's why right now I'm using this um, shampoo and then this mask as a conditioner and this is just a Brazilian keratin therapy from Organics. It's pretty expensive. It's like six or seven, eight dollars depending on where you go, like at the drugstore, also whatever. Um, and I like it a lot. It smells good. Like all of their lines, like every line that they have, not just the keratin one, they all smell very sweet and nice. And then this is the flat iron spray but basically it's a heat protector so before I blow dry or straighten my hair I just use this on it to prevent any damage from the heat I also love Paul Mitchell but right now I'm not using it and that's only because I have the keratin treatment in my hair 
but otherwise I would still use it so I'm not saying it's bad or anything like that so I would totally still be using this and this is the shampoo and conditioner this is the green smoothing line because my hair is very curly so when I do straighten it um, I want it to be smooth and not frizzy so I would still be using these two products if I was without the keratin treatment and whatever and then I have some more other products over there from the Paul Mitchell line but I had to pick out like my absolutely favorite ones and this is the last one and this I actually do use still and this is just a super skinny serum and I just pump this out of my hand a little bit and then use it like on the ends of my hair to make it more shiny if they're sort of losing their bounce or whatever because a lot of times your hair does dry out and it would just look very dead and stuff so it kind of brings back that shine to your hair and then lastly you guys are probably like oh my gosh she's just rambling on and on lastly I'm up five favorite perfumes and I actually have a video on that so I'm just going to run through the names real quick but if you want to know the smells and all that I will link that video in the info bar below as well so the first one is the magnetism from Escada it's very sweet this is my number one and then my number two is the DKY Be Delicious. It's a very like sexy sort of smell, but it still has some sweet notes in it. And then I love these two from Britney Spears. This is the original Curious, and then this is the Fantasy. They're both very sweet. This one is more so than the Curious. And then the last one is the True Star by Tommy Hilfiger. This is the only one that I have that's very like clean sort of scent, and I've been loving it for years. I'm not a fan of like clean scents. I like sweet stuff, but this one I still absolutely love. It's got it's it's got something in it that is just like just catches. A lot of people always ask me what perfume I'm using when I wear this one. So that is pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys go because this video was very long. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, I will link that right now after this video. So you can go ahead and do that. It runs through the whole month of January. So hopefully you have a chance to enter and win. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.